everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we're here to offer you insight and indeed information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection. So today we're going to be unboxing Railroad Rivals um, and I'm, I'm really excited about this one because I do love a good train game. Um, and train games seem to come in two varieties, the one where you place trains and connect routes or the ones where you're trying to make money. And um, when this calls itself a fast-paced tycoon game, I assume this is a game about, well, making money. So Railroad Rivals comes from Forbidden Games. Um, this is a review copy they sent me. Thank you kindly, folks. And it's a game by Glenn Drover. Um, now, so let's start off the box. It feels lovely. <laughs> it's a lovely, smooth, really nice box. Um, and the artwork is actually kind of interesting. So clearly, you know, this guy's got a train, he's got a stock. Um, it tells you what the game's about from the onset. Now, let's flip it on the side and see what it's like. So yeah, it's just the same guy, looking kind of rich. And what do we got on the back? So on the back, it's gonna tell us a little bit more about the game. So when playing Railroad Rivals, you connect city tiles via one of the 12 great railroad state, railroads that stretch across America while simultaneously building your stock portfolio. So it does look like we'll get to do some route building and some money making. So it looks like we're gonna have lots of tiles, little wooden trains, um, all good. So it's supposed to take 45 to 60 minutes to play um, for one to five players. It's nice to see a solo mode. Complexity wise, it's only two out of five and it's for ages eight and up. So it seems like it's pretty accessible for, for most people. Um, I like this kind of old timey style it's got going with it. You know what I mean? It looks a little retro. So let's go and see what's actually inside the box. And then once we've opened it up a bit and explored, um, we'll have a look at the components. It's a tight lid. Ooh, and a good sound. All right, so the minute we open it up, what do we find? Um, special rules for hotels and water towers. Okay, and it's on a piece of card. So use the promo code trains are, are we, are, <laughs> trains are sweet for of your purchase. The mistress, mysterious package company wishes to thank you for your patronage. Interesting, not sure what this is to do with. I'll have a look at it later, but um, okay, a little bit mysterious. And then we have the actual rule book. So, oh, it's quite a thin rule book. Let's start with that. That's always a positive. Um, let's see, it's made of good paper. And here we go. So inside, it's got plenty of pictures, which looks good. I really like the font. The font is really strong. Look at that. You can read that a mile away. And there doesn't seem to be a ton of pages or a ton of text. Always good. So here's about your game turn, your draft tiles, place city tiles, some examples. Plenty of artworks, lots of examples. How to deliver a good. There's special rules for two players and solitaire rules are, se are separate, which is good. Game and scoring. So you have the solo rules, seems pretty straightforward. And then, actually, I like there's a lot of solo rules of them go. So like two pages of solo rules. And then we got the credits and design. Excellent. And then what's on the back? Here we go, overview of gameplay. Yay, I love when people make use of the back of the rule book. I think it's so smart. Um, so that way we have reminding for scoring and for how the game goes. Perfect. That's quite light reading. Definitely not too heavy. Okay, so it looks like we're to the board. Or a board. Here we go. Oh, one board. So we have one board. Um, it's got many numbers. Clearly this is like the train track, so it's the score track. And then the stock value, so we'll be taking care of those kind of things. Now, what's very special about this board, share the back of it. See that? It's kind of it's a cloth backed board. I haven't seen one of these in a really long time. That's super fancy. Really, really nice quality. And that board's a good size too. If this is going to be most of what we're playing with, because this is what's left in the box. Um, yet again from Forbidden Games, another absolutely outstandingly good insert. Um, like, look at that. Fantastic. Um, so now we'll look at the components a little bit more carefully. So first up, we have a cotton um, bag for, with, embroidered with the Railroad Rivals logo, which is good. Um, it's quite small, but I assume there isn't too much going in there. Next up we have, so we have trains in, it seems to be all the player colors. Um, they're lovely little wooden locomotives. Very, very nice and really solid, nicely made. Gray is an unusual player color to see, isn't it? Okay, so let's see what's next. Um, so we have a bag of wooden cubes. Um, yeah, cubes, just base cubes for items in, in, in various colors. Um, okay, let's see what's next. We have some teeny tiny buildings. 
So one of these looks like a wall, um, a water tower, one looks like a little building. I'll have a little look at them. But yet again, these are nice chunky kind of wooden pieces, kind of stuff. I have to play with. There's very few of them, so they must be quite special. And next we have, so these must be the stocks that you're investing in or watching go up and down. I do like that they are actually like different companies with different logos. Um, yet again, these are very retro. Like this looks so suspiciously like Heinz, um, but it probably isn't. Do you any of these other ones look familiar? That one's a little like, I want to say Coke or something like that, but maybe not. But um, yeah, they're really, really nice. They're double sided. They're kind of, they're linen finish and they're nice thick card pieces. Um, let's see what's next. So we have a, a couple of what seem like um, card cards of sort, or maybe people you can play as. Um, these are really, really chunky cards. And on the side, on the other side, you can see you can play the male version, um, which I super de duper appreciate. Um, why not have that option for people? I think as a woman, it's no fun to have to play as a guy character. And I think as guy car guys, I don't know if you'd want to play as a woman, or if you do, it's, it's nice to have the option. So like, it's just such a simple idea so important look at that that's fantastic I think I love the way that's done um, and these obviously must be the characters you play as right so the last portion we have is so we have a whole host of city tiles um, the first thing I noticed about these city tiles is just how thick they are they are impressively put together like these serious chunky cardboard um, I really like the art like the cities are all kind of colourful and bright, you'd spot them, are they double sided? No, it just has city um, on the back and so they're all cities, although there are also some stock tiles in this as well. And then on the back of the stock, stock you have, you know, which um, stock it corresponds to, there's Southern Pacific, that was a railway. Um, and there's a good number of these. Um, I have a second pile now that say railway on them, so we'll see if they're different, but anyway, just like these places um, are lovely. Look at the art. I think the art is really, really nice on these. Um, God, they're nice. They're really, really chunky. Like, you know what I mean? Good stuff. Okay, and let's look at the last pile of tiles. So our second pile of tiles um, seem to also have stock tiles, but there also seem to be some city tiles in here as well. So they're just kind of, they're mixed up together as they came out of the packet. Yet again, super chunky. I love the font choices in this game. Everything's so legible, but still so old timey. Um, with all the different stock tokens, I like, it's just, it's so good, it's everything I wanted it to be, um, in these lovely chunky tiles, like look at that, they're fantastic, they just seem to be duplicates of certain places, did we see Seattle earlier? Maybe we did, maybe we didn't, I don't think it really matters, surely you can, you can only go to one place at a time, but these are fantastic, um, and I can't wait to get them to the table to play with them. So yeah, that's a pretty fantastic insert, I have to say, no matter which way around you would store your game, because then you put your scoreboard on top like so, and then everything else goes back on top. Yeah, this looks really, really fun. Um, and I like that it seems to consider itself to be a relatively light game. Some of my favorite stock games are like that. Um, so yeah, this should be super, super exciting. How do you guys feel about it? Would you be curious to try out Railroad Rivals? Um, well, there'll be a review coming soon if you'd like to learn a little bit more. Um, but for me, this is really, yeah, this is really exciting and fun. Um, I'm very impressed with how well it's put together and how well the game is presented. So you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and I've just unboxed Railroad Rivals. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos, um, some of which are, you know, review videos, I do unboxing videos, um, list videos, and all sorts of things, and all sorts of fun, and I would love to have you here, um, so I can talk to you about more board games, of course. Um, so until next time, everybody, take care, bye-bye, um, and play games. Talk soon, bye-bye.